Hey everyone, before we begin, I would appreciate it a lot if you guys can help to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button as well as to help like the video. It will really help out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will be upgrading our Golang virus program, continuing from where we left off in the first video. The link to the first video will be in the video's description, so check that out if you haven't already. This is the Golang program that we created in the first video. The program was able to work on the Windows X64 system, successfully capturing a screenshot of our victim's Windows computer every 5 seconds. For today's video, we will be upgrading the Golang virus program so that the screenshot images that were captured will be sent to a remote server. This means that the Golang program will be capturing the victim's Windows computer desktop every 5 seconds and sending the screenshot to a remote server instead so that the malicious hacker will be able to view and spy on the victim's Windows computer. So let's get started. Let's paste the code snippet to ChatGPT to provide context. Let's get the chatbot to work on the following code snippet. Let's get the IP address of our Kali system. So our Kali Linux box has the IP of 10.145. The chatbot is suggesting to send the file over the network using the TCP protocol. Let's give this code a try. We will have to open the listener on port 8080 to receive the file. The program was able to compile successfully. Let's transfer the binary over to our victim's Windows computer. Let's download the binary over. We will need to output it to a file. Let's execute the binary. We can see that the binary is now capturing the screenshots. It appears that the program is not working. It is only capturing the screenshot once. Let's terminate the program using Task Manager. It seems that the program is no longer running. Let's start up a listener on port 8080 and we will output whatever that is received to a file called screenshot. Let's execute the binary again. It seems that the binary will stop executing and exit if it was unable to establish a connection to our remote server. We can see that we managed to get the output. The screenshot file has been sent to a remote server on our Kali box successfully. As our Kali session is over SSH and we have no user interface UI to open the screenshot, let's transfer the screenshot file to our MacBook so that we can see the screenshot.
we can see that it was indeed successful. The Golang virus program was able to capture the victim's Windows computer desktop and subsequently send the screenshot that was captured over to a remote server onto our Kali box. So this was a very successful demonstration on how we can upgrade the Golang virus program to send the screenshots captured to a remote server so that the malicious hacker will be able to view the screenshots remotely on his own system, such as on the Kali box. However, the Golang code provided to us is not ideal. We would want the program to continue running even if there is an error connecting to the remote IP. As of now, the program will terminate itself if it was unable to establish the remote connection to the remote IP. Let's try and fix that. We will want the program to continue running and taking screenshots even if the TCP connection to the remote IP cannot be established. This means that even if the screenshots that were captured cannot be sent to a remote server, we will still want the program to keep running and capturing screenshots, saving it to the local Windows machine. We can see that the chatbot is able to generate a much cleaner code for us. It has separated the sending of screenshot to a separate function now. The new Golang code looks promising. Let's give this a try. Let's compile the program. Undefined image. That's weird. Let's paste the error to the chatbot. The chatbot has provided an answer that is for Python. Let's see if this works for Golang. Let's be more specific instead of just pasting the error code. It seems that ChatGPT is still providing us an answer that is for Python. This should be specific enough. It appears that the chatbot is broken. It is still providing us an answer that is for Python. It appears that what we need to do is just a simple import image. Let's give it a try. The program is able to compile successfully now. Let's delete all of the screenshots. Let's download the new binary on our Windows Victims computer. There is a typo on the port. Our web server is hosted on port 8000. Let's download the binary. Let's execute the new binary. But before that, let's set up a listener on port 8080 to receive the new screenshot. Let's run the program. It seems to be successful. The program is able to continue capturing the screenshot of the Windows desktop even though the listener has been stopped. So this netcat listener will stop once it has received just one connection. So this means that the Golang program is unable to establish any new TCP connection to us since the netcat listener has been stopped after receiving just one screenshot. So again, this is a very successful demonstration and ChatGPT is able to provide us the code for it. Let's stop the program. Let's verify that the new screenshot that was sent to us from the victim's Windows computer is correct. We will need to transfer the new screenshot file over to our MacBook so that we can open the new screenshot image and view it. Let's do that. So we can see that it was successful. The new screenshot is correct. We were able to create a Golang program that captures the victim's Windows computer every 5 seconds 
and sent the screenshot that was captured to a remote server. ChatGPT was able to successfully upgrade the Golang virus program for us. So this will conclude the video. Again, we have demonstrated the chatbot ability to create a Golang virus program for us. It was able to easily upgrade the program and now the program is able to send the screenshot that was captured remotely to a remote server whereby a malicious hacker will then be able to view and spy on the victim's Windows computer remotely without having to access the Windows computer again. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Please help to subscribe and like the video. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks all.